What's up everyone, this is Khuram from I Guess Well and hope you're having an amazing day. I just did the video on the Tesla Model Y without ultrasonic sensors and we have the Park Assist available using the uh, Vision, Tesla Vision that is out there and it utilizes the cameras and I did the video on it. But one thing that happened on my Tesla Model Y is really good news that uh, the distance is not as accurate as you can see here. It is showing me like 17, 18 inches. But as soon as I got off, the distance was really huge. Um, also, when you're driving under or at the seven miles per hour, you'll be able to see this in the traffic because this is the rush hour when I was going to work. There's a big distance, but still, you know, precautionary measures. So it shows you that, hey, slow down. And uh, this is something that I wanted to talk about in this video. Right here is the blind spot that a lot of people talk about. Tesla does not have blind spots. So if you look at my screen, now you can see the cars way before they used to be appearing on the screen. So now if I look at my screen, I don't really need those blind spots out there because the screen, you can see that car on the left, it's already showing by my steering wheel. It's literally far away. Now it got in my blind spot and it is right there with the screen. It used to be like uh, pretty much like, you know, the car is really close in the blind spot. Then it will show, but now it shows even before. So I think the camera angle or whatever they did with the park assist, they have actually widened the view the way it is now and it's detecting the car way before it actually appears. So this is a pretty good and exciting news, but the Tesla vision as a whole will require a lot of improvements. As I talked about this distance from the gate to my bumper was more than uh, three feet. And maybe it can be uh, seen like um, in the camera, but it was actually, you can see, it's way more than 18 inches. So this is, I wanted to share with you guys that it is annoying. I had to actually turn off the um, audio alerts because the thing is that it's already showing me that I'm already in the fence or in the gate, but I'm actually far away from it. And it shows really critical, but still I have enough distance. So if you are the one who is driving in the downtown area and you want to do parallel park, so this is going to be a little troubling for you because this car is going to freak out because you're trying to park in the closest spaces. So that's the whole take I have on this. Uh, good news is the blind spot is now really amazing and you will be able to see the cars before they appear even in the blind spot space. So that's all I have from this video guys. I hope you're really liking the content. If you do, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another video. Until then, peace out.